Today I'm gonna to show you how I set up my bioactive enclosures for my green anoles. The tank I'm gonna be using for this build is a Hexagon Thrive 20 gallon tall enclosure. I cut these branches off a tree deep within woods surrounding my house. You can see right here that I'm putting the branches in my enclosure and I'm measuring them out and I'm gonna cut them to size so that way they fit perfectly in the enclosure. After getting the branches just right, I got some of my substrate that I make myself. And if you wanna know how to make this, there's a video on my channel, but I'll go ahead and tell you the ingredients right now. The substrate I make consists of peat moss, topsoil, play sand, and some leaf litter. It's really cheap to do this. I get all those ingredients at Lowe's or Home Depot and it only costs $20. I will warn you though, if you only have like one or two tanks, this is going to make a lot of substrate. So be prepared if you only have one tank, you're gonna have gallons and gallons of this sitting in a closet somewhere. As you can tell, I'm putting the substrate in, but one thing you're gonna notice is I'm not using a drainage layer. I have a lot of bioactive tanks with drainage layers and without drainage layers, and they both perform exactly the same, and that's all that matters to me. For plants, I'm gonna be using the classic Pothos, a red nerve plant, and a Pilia Moon Valley. After I get my plants where I want them, which always takes most of the time doing these enclosures, I'm gonna add some leaf litter all over the bottom. Now I actually have an overflow of isopods and springtails from another enclosure that I'm going to be adding to this. I can't remember the name of the isopods I'm going to be using for this. You can see them right here. I think they're like mini dwarf cows or something like that. I got them a long time ago. I don't remember the names of them, but I have hundreds in one of my bioactive tanks that I definitely need to go ahead and start moving them to other tanks as well. Now the enclosure is almost complete. To set it off though, we're gonna need our lighting. For the plants, I'm using a cheap Walmart LED strip called HyperTuff. It's a daylight 5000K bulb. This will grow the plants perfectly fine. I've been using these lights for months and I've grown tons of plants from nothing. For my green and all, I'm gonna be using our Acadia Shade Dweller UVB. Now it is time to add my baby girl Hermione to her new home. Now, as you can tell, she's not very green, but it's because she's so angry I'm messing with her right now. Hopefully she loves her new home and settles in soon and she'll turn back to that beautiful green that she was before. This is the final product. And I'm gonna say I love the way this thing came out. It looks amazing, I'm super happy, but I do have one complaint as I do with every bioactive I do. Because every time I do bioactive or anytime you do bioactive, the plants are never just settled in, they're not growing in, they're usually tiny and it takes a while for them to get settled in and grow but I will do an update video three months from now and show you what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.